Milk the perfect source of good health loaded with calcium, protein and multivitamin. Milk is the liquid produced by the mammary glands of mammals including humans. Breast milk is the preferred food for infants as it is well tolerated while their digestive tracts develop and mature. Dairy milk may be introduced at later ages if tolerated well. Although dairy milk may come from any mammal, cows, goats, buffalo and sheep are common producers. This section will focus on dairy milk from cows and briefly discuss non-dairy plant milk alternatives. Whole cow's milk contains about 87% water. The remaining 13% contains protein, fat, carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals. Processing techniques remove fat to produce lower fat varieties. Reduced fat contains 2% milk fat. Low fat contains 1% milk fat. And non-fat or skim has virtually no milk fat. Cows are often pregnant while they are milked. So dairy milk contains hormones like insulin like growth factor 1, Ig1, estrogens and progestins. Some cows are given additional hormones to increase milk production. Source of calcium protein. Vitamin B2, riboflavin. Vitamin B12, potassium phosphorus, vitamin A and vitamin D added during processing. Milk and Health The Dietary Guidelines for Americans recommends including 3-8 ounce servings of milk daily or equal portions of other dairy foods like cheese or yogurt, which is justified to increase calcium intake and reduce the risk of osteoporosis and fractures. Marketing efforts such as the iconic cot milk campaign with celebrities donning milk moustaches spread this message as well. However, Research has not shown a consistent benefit on bone health with high intakes of milk and furthermore has suggested potential harm with certain conditions like prostate cancer. Research on milk often produces contrary findings. Some reasons may be the wide range of different nutritional qualities in milk and how milk intake is measured as seen in the following factors. The amount of milk that is considered a high or low intake can vary among populations studied. For example, people from Japan tend to drink about less than half of the milk consumed. In Western countries are different classifications of milk included or just one type, whole, reduced fat, fat-free or organic. The composition of milk, fat, protein from varying amino acids may differ depending on the breed and feed of the cows. Are other factors in the diet considered, such as if the participants are eating plenty of fruits and vegetables, or large amounts of processed meat or refined carbohydrates, which can confound the true health effects of milk. Different forms of dairy foods, such as cheese or yogurt, may have health effects different than milk. Cardiovascular disease The connection of milk and cardiovascular disease, CVD, is unclear. Whole milk contains saturated fat, which is known to increase total cholesterol, raising both LDL bad and HDL good cholesterol levels. However, the minerals in milk, specifically calcium and potassium, may help to control blood pressure. Comparison of milk with other foods in the diet can affect study results. For example, if comparing milk with high saturated fat meats, milk may show no difference in heart health. However, if dairy fat in milk is compared with unsaturated plant oils, nuts or seeds, milk may appear to increase CVD risk. A study following three large cohorts of men and women found that dairy fat including milk was not associated with overall CVD risk. However, when dairy fat was swapped with an equal amount of calories from polyunsaturated or vegetables oils, there was a 24% and 10% lower risk of CVD, respectively. There was a 6% increase in CVD risk when dairy fat was replaced with other animal fats, e.g. from red meat. Whole milk was associated with 1.5 times the risk of heart disease in women drinking 1-2 glasses or more a day. Drinking skim milk was associated with a lower risk. 
A meta analysis of 15 prospective cohort studies found that low fat and fermented milk were moderately protective of stroke possibly due to a reduction in blood pressure milk contains potassium magnesium and calcium which helps to regulate blood pressure however randomized trials of low fat milk have not consistently found milk to lower blood pressure a review of 17 prospective studies found that milk intake was not associated with increased risk of mortality early death from cardiovascular diseases there was no association when looking specifically at high fat versus low fat dairy products however another study following three large cohorts of men and women found that whole milk was associated with higher risks of total mortality including mortality from cardiovascular disease bone health milk contains nutrients important for bone health calcium phosphorus vitamin d and protein however an association with milk intake and decreased hip fractures has not been made interestingly the countries with the highest intakes of milk and calcium have the highest hip fracture rates yet it's unclear that milk alone is responsible because these studies are epidemiological and find associations rather than direct causes it is known that higher milk intake tends to increase height and a taller height is strongly related to fractures of the hip and other bones particularly in men to meta analysis of prospective cohort studies did not find an association between milk intake and risk of hip fractures this result was found even with high milk intakes of 3 4 glasses a day although it is believed that high calcium intakes at adolescent and adolescent years may protect against bone loss later in life studies have not supported this the recommended daily allowance for calcium in the us for predly saints ages 9 13 years is 1300 mg daily but the calcium recommendations in other countries such as japan and the united kingdom are only on average 750 mg daily drinking three servings of milk daily for 18 months in adolescent boy and girls with a low calcium intake did not affect bone mass for further nutritional guidance for children and adolescents visit harvard's kids healthy eating plate weight contrary to widespread belief research does not support that milk helps with weight control although a meta analysis of 29 randomized controlled trials found that milk and other dairy foods were beneficial for body fat reduction in the short term and if calories were restricted no benefits on body weight were seen in the long term and when calories were not restricted A later meta analysis of 37 randomized controlled trials found similar beneficial effects of dairy intake on body weight and body fat when calories were limited but without a calorie restriction weight gain was likely A large study of more than 12000 adolescents looked to see if total milk helped to prevent weight gain it found that dairy fat was not associated with weight gain but a high intake of low fat milk more than 3 servings daily was associated with weight gain and higher body mass index mainly from the extra calories obtained diabetes the association of milk and diabetes is unclear dairy foods are associated with a moderately lower risk of type 2 diabetes in cohort studies but the benefit mainly appears with eating fermented milk products like yogurt rather than from milk Although the action of yogurt in benefiting diabetes is unclear it contains helpful bacteria that may reduce inflammation or improve the action of the body's natural insulin cancer higher milk intake is associated with increased incidence of prostate cancer the physicians health study of 21660 men found that an intake of more than 2.5 servings of dairy foods daily compared with a half or less serving daily was associated with a 12% increased risk prostate cancer in men who consumed one or more servings of milk daily compared with rarely consumed skim milk was associated with an increased risk of early stage prostate cancer 
and whole milk was associated with fatal advanced prostate cancer. A meta-analysis of 111 cohort studies by the World Cancer Research Fund found a decreased risk of colorectal cancer with higher milk intake but mostly in men. This is possibly due to the high calcium content in milk, a mineral found to be protective of colorectal cancer. Bottom line, the health benefits of milk appear to be stronger for fermented types like yogurt which play a role in the gut microbiome. Milk possesses several individual nutrients that can affect blood pressure and bone health. But some of their health-promoting effects may be weakened by whole milk's high saturated fat content. Although popular media articles have speculated that whole milk is not less healthful than skim milk, research has not supported this statement in regards to diabetes and heart disease. And a high intake of any type of milk can lead to weight gain due to the extra calories. For your health and the planet's health, the production of dairy foods places considerable demand on land, water, and other natural resources. And dairy producing ruminant animals like cattle, sheep, and goats generate methane, a powerful greenhouse gas. In identifying a dietary pattern both healthy for people and sustainable for the planet, the planetary health diet sets the target for dairy foods at 250 grams per day with a range of 0 to 500 grams per day which is about 1 8 ounce cup of milk. Purchase milk is often sold in cartons or opaque containers because too much exposure to light can cause a loss of vitamin A and B2. Choose a carton with the latest sell by or use by date indicating it is the freshest most milk sold in supermarkets is pasteurized and homogenized. Processing techniques that use heat to kill most of the bacteria present and break down fat molecules so that texture of milk remains smooth and creamy. What about plant-based milk? The FDA defines milk as the lacteal secretion obtained from one or more healthy milk-producing animals, e.g. cows, goats, sheep and water buffalo because of the rise in popularity of plant-based non-dairy milks. The FDA has initiated plans to enforce a federal standard of identity-defining milk that would exclude food products extracted from plants. Plant-based milks contain no lactose, so may be better tolerated than dairy milk in some people. Also, plant-based milk has no cholesterol and most have little saturated fat. However, the nutritional content varies widely, so be sure to read the food label to ensure you are getting the desired nutrients. This chart compares dairy milks to a sample of plant-based milks. As you will see, nutrients vary across types of plant-based milks, as well as among different brands selling similar options. Specific brands may contain more or less of the nutrients depending on if products are fortified or if added flavors or sweeteners are included. Generally, plant milks labeled original will include added sugars. So look for unsweetened options and be sure to check the nutrition facts label and ingredients list so you know what you're buying. Storage milk requires refrigeration at a temperature below 40 F. If it has been stored at room temperature for 2 hours or longer, it is recommended to discard it. Although pasteurization kills much of the bacteria in milk, any remaining bacteria can grow quickly in milk at room temperature or warmer. Once milk is opened, 
It will last about 3-5 days after the sell-by date on the label. Spoiled milk has a strong, sour odor and lumpy texture caused by excess bacteria-producing lactic acid, which curdles the protein in milk and produces off odors. Store milk towards the rear of the refrigerator rather than the front or side shelf door, where the temperature varies the most. Don't forget to close the carton or recap the bottle to prevent the milk from absorbing the odors and flavors of other foods in the refrigerator. Lactose free milk undergoes pasteurization and the addition of an enzyme lactase, which breaks down the milk sugar lactose. So it generally lasts longer than regular milk. If refrigerated properly, lactose free milk can last about 7 days after the sell by date once it is opened. Serve milk is not just for drinking by the glass or splashing onto cold cereal. Adding milk to foods can boost one's intake of calcium, vitamin D, protein, and other nutrients. Blend 1 cup of milk, 1 2 cup of fresh or frozen berries, and 1 small banana for an easy breakfast drink or snack. Overnight oats. In a mason jar, you can also reuse a clean jelly or salsa jar. Add 1 cup of milk, 1 2 cup of rolled oats, 1 tablespoon chia seeds. 3 tablespoons of chopped nuts, sliced banana, and cup fresh or frozen berries. Secure the lid and shake the jar well until all the ingredients are mixed. Refrigerate overnight. Hot oatmeal. Cook old-fashioned rolled oats in milk. The ratio is generally cup oats to 1 cup milk. Did you know? Several other animals produce milk including sheep, goat, and yaks. These types of milk are more popular in European, Middle Eastern, and Asian countries than in the US. Sheep's milk can be made into various cheeses like feta and ricotta. And goat's milk produces a popular cheese called goat cheese or chevre. How do they compare nutritionally? Sheep, goat, and yak milks contain about the same if not more calcium than cow's milk. The amount of protein and carbohydrate are about the same. They all contain some lactose but less than found in cow's milk. So they may be easier to digest for people with lactose sensitivity.